Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is Jesse, and I am back for another iOS Accessible Game Spotlight video. And this one is from Woodside Apps. I've covered a fair few of uh, his games on the channel thus far. And this one is just called Accessible Pong. So it's kind of... Uh, I have never even opened it yet. I've never played it. I figured uh, it seems like it should be a fairly straightforward enough concept to figure out and uh so yeah we are just gonna go in and play it i'm guessing it's self-voicing let's just dive right oh okay never mind let me see we got a little voiceover on pop up here pong for the blind and visually impaired community this is a version of okay, welcome, to pong. welcome to pong pong for the blind and visually impaired community this is a version of the classic pong the game uses direct touch to allow the bat to be moved along the bottom of the screen you need stereo headphones to locate the ball by sound the balance in the speakers indicates where the ball is the volume determines how close the ball is to the bat when the ball is in line with the bat, the pitch of the location sound arises. The game will announce when the ball hits a wall, for example, left or right. The echo effect can be turned off on the start screen. Tap and hold the high score, HS, on the start hmm. screen to reset it to zero. The game will speed up and the bat will get smaller as you succeed. Good luck and pong pong pong. Okay, all right. Fair enough. Seems at least fairly straightforward. Um, okay, button. Play, button. Okay, so we have... Play, button, HS, zero, button. There's my high score... LVL1 button. Level one. Solo button. Solo button. Solo. Oh, okay. I wonder if that says like you're just bouncing it off of a wall or something. So, um, I'm just gonna double tap play, play here. Button. Direct touch area. Use the rotor to enable direct touch for this app. Or I can just turn voiceover off. For now. Oh. Ring. <laughs> Unmuted. I'm like, why am I not getting Talk. sound? Left. Speed. Okay. So that means I'm hitting the wall. Talk. Okay, it hit the top. So it's coming down to the right. Right. <laughs> okay. Direct right, touch area. Here we go. Use the rotor to enable direct touch for this app. So yeah, you could totally right. do that. I'm just for the video's sake for being Left. fast here. Right. So I'm kind of just dragging my finger at the very bottom of the screen, left or right. Talk. And I'm kind of like following it with my finger Left. where I hear Left. the sound. Right. I'm like, well, this sounds really far Talk. to my right, or this sounds Left. kind of in the middle. Right. Okay, I can tell it's definitely Left. getting faster a little bit. Talk right. Left. Okay, you're going Speed. middle. Left. Now I there is uh, a visual Talk. of this. Right. But I'm purposefully looking away. Shrink. Left. Oh no, it says shrink. Okay. Talk right. Speed. Left. Okay, speed's going up. Right. Talk. Left. And this would definitely be like a lot slower right. than uh, a regular game of Pong would start because it's a lot faster. But again, for audio Talk. only, right. you kind of have to. It's a totally different. Left. Speed. Spiel to get direct used to. Use the rotor to enable direct touch for this app. Dude, I didn't even turn voiceover on. What the hell? Left. Play. Okay, Button. somehow I don't know how I turned unless I voice over off. Unless it, I might have enabled because I have a back tap gesture for voiceover, and maybe I just bumped it enough, and maybe that's how it enabled. Right. So let's do one more time. Left. Um, I have a couple minor thoughts Talk. or a couple right. minor ideas, and we'll Left. explore the menus a little bit more after we play here. Right, right. But. Uh, Talk. So it does. Left. Speed. Left. It does make sense. Right. The way the audio works. Talk. Left. Right. Ooh, I don't. I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get Left. that one. Huh. Talk. Right. Left. Ah. So yeah, um, Audio Pong. I mean, it's really not any more 
complicated than that. Let's just turn voiceover, voiceover on. I want to see what they have button. for settings. Um, because I LVL1, have a couple of minor LVL1, ideas. LVL1, button, solo, button, LVL1, oh, okay. Button, LVL2. Oh, okay. So we can, if we double tap on one of these things, you can... So that already answers one of my questions. So like, oh, let's say I've gotten really used to this and you, do, you don't want to start at the very slow. It's kind of like when you play Tetris visually. It's like, eh, sometimes you want to start from the beginning and get a high score as possible. Sometimes you just want to, you know, go from a little bit faster right away. Um, so I'm not sure if... I'll, I'll, I'll play another round, but I'm wondering... I guess when I think of kind of a game like Dr. Mario, where you would have, you could change between a couple of different starting options. I could choose the speed and I could choose um, the number of like viruses, essentially, that you were trying to get rid of. So in this case, if I could adjust my speed uh, separately, but also have the option, maybe I want to play a fast game, but maybe I want to play with a wider paddle or maybe I want to challenge myself and play with a narrow paddle but start at a slow speed so kind of having those things like you know having a, a mode where it's like a natural progression and it advances as usual but then having like a, being able to custom um, like I said maybe I want to play fast but I want to play with the default width of the pad solo button solo button so what happened? What Echo. is Echo? Echo button. Echo button. Solo. Okay. Solo. So button. I don't know what that means. We're gonna try it in a moment, but uh, play button. So LVL two button. LVL three. Let's do level three and probably get wrecked. Voice over off. We're gonna play it on solo. Right. Okay. Oh yeah, that Left. is. Talk right. Yep. Way faster. Left. So yeah, you wanna. Crank right. it up a bit. I gotta concentrate here. Left. Right. Oh, okay, we're going faster. Okay. All right. Talk. I wonder how many levels there are. Left. Left. And I wonder right. if I start at a higher level, do I get like higher Left. scores? Left. Um Talk. Left. I guess I haven't looked at my scores to see if it's an right. actual like do I get a certain score for each time I bounce, or is it just counting like the number of bounces? So I get one, two, three, four, five. Um, let's, let's find out. Voice over on. X H S eight button. Okay, okay, eight. Yeah, so it's just the number of bounces. It's not like, oh, well, this on level one, each bounce is worth a hundred, and then level two, it's worth two hundred or something. Uh, points. Uh, okay, so it's very straightforward. I'm just genuinely LVL3, curious. LVL4. LVL1. LVL2. Oh, okay, four. LVL3, button. LVL4. Let's just try level four. I want to see how fast this gets. Voice over off. Right. Left. Talk. Right. Left. Definitely faster. Left. Top right, left, speed. Okay. Left. I'm not sure because, and I'm, I, I can't right. even look because my finger's in the way. But I don't know. Right. Um, does it like I said? Does it automatically start you with? Left, speed. Okay, I wasn't sure if I had to line that up or not. Left, top. Um, but I wonder if my little puck here Shrink. is narrower. Left. Oh, it shrunk again. Oh, goody. Right. Left. Speed. Left. Okay. It's harder to tell right. in the middle Talk. how far you should be. Speed. Especially Left. when it shrinks. You're like, eh, I don't know. Right. Ah, like right there. I wasn't sure if I was too far to the right or the left. So I want to find out before we wrap up the video. Let's find out. Voice over on. Access solo button. Solo. Echo. 
Echo. Button. Echo. Oh, so I wonder this one is going to be more like air hockey, I bet. So we're going to have, instead of just bouncing it off the top wall, we're going to fight against... Right, 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 right. Right, oh, right, right. no. Oh, that's... Ooh, I don't know if I like that. And I'm still on level four, so... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a super fan of the Echo. I think it would be kind of cool, though, if instead of bouncing it off the top wall, you know, if you played almost like an air hockey thing, you were playing Pong, but you were trying to get it past um, another player, where, you know, so you had solo where you play like this, without the echo, but playing it... You know, right, maybe right, you had, right, I don't know, you wouldn't want the sound too cluttered, speed, 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 speed. but talk, 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 talk. trying to get it past right, 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 right. a paddle at the top of the screen. Right, right, talk, right, talk. So then it's it's not just about like, oh, I have to bounce it, which I totally failed to do, just as I said that. Um, but a big part of, you know, table tennis, ping pong, Pong, a lot of that is, yes, you want to, you know, or even games like Breakout, um, where your paddle, it's not so much about shrinking the paddle as much as it is, you know, maybe you have a decently wide paddle, but you, it's about the angle that you hit it. So, like, in a lot of these games where, um, Let's say you have a decently wide paddle um, that you're dragging across the bottom of the screen. But then, if the ball hits more toward the right side of it, it'll kind of veer off up into the right. Whereas if it hits more to the left of the paddle, uh, it'll veer off more to the left. And that kind of plays into, especially the faster you go, you know, you can kind of get it. You know, I remember playing real life air hockey. Um, you know, it's just like you get that thing just chucking across the table and you're like, doo, 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 doo. it's just going, you know, side to side and bouncing off the walls. And you never quite know what angle it's going to come at you on. So, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, this is I mean, this is a, a very. Um, pretty I mean, it's a very straightforward, um, pretty much what I would expect from a. Uh, audio ping pong. Microsoft had their audio pong too. I believe that was in the Windows Store. You might be able to still get it in the Windows Store. I think that might be for free. Um, I covered that on the channel a while back, but yeah, you got your iOS version here. Um, I like the, you can choose the levels and uh, I will probably play with the Echo off, but um, yeah, a neat little game. And I believe it's like was it two, three bucks in the app store? So again, definitely support the developer. Um, this guy, he's, I've played, like I said, a few of his games so far and, uh, he's made some cool stuff. So support him, uh, let him keep making game audio games for us and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like. If you did follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited illegallycited.com and right here on YouTube. Until next time, I will chat with everybody again later.